Well, I just destroyed my brand new video transmitter. Today, I'll show you an easy modification you can make on any video transmitter to save you having this happen to you. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm your host, Eric. Today, I'll show you a quick little tip that I just learned the hard way. I was setting up my new 250 quad. This is the ZMR250, and I was all set, ready to go, ready to put the video transmission gear in. And I got this great little video transmitter, the Q58-2 from Quantum. Awesome looking little VTX. And I had everything laid out on the bench here. My FEO 800 TV line board camera. I had this powered up, hooked together was getting video on my downlink everything's good obviously I had the antenna plugged in my camera slipped out of my hand and it just fell on the workbench I didn't think much of it but I looked down and I had no more display on the video transmitter I'll show you what happened when that camera fell it made contact on this end of the FPV transmitter. Note the nice protective covering all across the VTX except for the output at the antenna. This is the same on both sides. The plastic ends before the printed pads are completely covered. What a crappy way to discover that. I didn't even notice. To remedy this, really, really simple. Love this stuff. Clear transparent automotive goop glue. This is uh, non-conductive sealant glue. I love it. It works amazing, particularly for things like this. You could also use hot glue, but it's up to you. I like the goop better. All we do is get some glue out of there. It's tough to do from behind the camera. And we're gonna go ahead and cover our connections. Now this stuff runs for a little while and we'll just settle out and make a perfect little bubble if you just leave it there for a few minutes and that'll be all really nicely coated and then do the same with the other side don't waste 50 bucks like i did don't let this happen to you this works on any vtx i have seen this on others i just didn't notice it in this case and didn't cover it up beforehand before i blew the thing up lousy way to lose a perfectly good video transmitter but hey i hope this helps someone simple add some covering on any bare connections particularly the antenna you short this across and the entire wattage is like trying to drive a stove bolt instead of a calculated proper resistance too bad crappy deal hope this helps someone cheers guys